Hi, I'm Simon Sherborne from Avid, and in this video I want to show you how I've been using Pro Tools Carbon as the heart of my studio when I'm producing electronic music with hardware, drum machines and synths. So this is the synth corner of my home studio. As you can see, I've got a few different tabletop synths and sampling workstations. And this here is Pro Tools Carbon, which is where everything is coming together for monitoring and mixing and recording. Um, and it's allowed me to set up my stuff exactly how I've always wanted to do it. Um, I really love working with hardware and just coming up with ideas away from the computer and just jamming them out and then coming up with a kind of live arrangement. Um, it lets me just capture something that's a bit more dynamic. I can play with all the controls rather than building um, a sequence from blocks on a screen. Um, so yeah, let me show you how this all fits together. So right now I'm running everything based around Native Instruments Machina. Um, this is running as a drum machine and a sampler. It's also controlling on my synth. So let me show you what I've got. Um, so right now I have a bunch of drums. Um, it's basically a chopped up break beat that I've got into smaller sections. And it lets me juggle with these beats and come up with interesting patterns. I've also got some performance effects running on here. So that's, that's my drums and I've got some samples running inside here as well, coming out of two separate outputs. And then on this track here, I have got sequence running the analog four, give me this bass line. And then on here, I've got another sequence running the Arturia Micro Freak, which is coming in here. And then finally, I've got the NoCo Semi Modular, giving me some nice squelchy sounds. So you can see what I can do is I can set up these scenes and patterns to give me a basic starting point for my track. Um, so what I was doing before um, the carbon was I had everything running through this uh, mixer. And the reason I was doing that was so I could get zero latency monitoring. Um, so, you know, uh, if I'm running through a normal audio interface or if I'm running through the USB um, connection side of this mixer, then you know, you're normally gonna have to work with a low latency mode um, um, or some kind of software mixer layer. So there's a whole kind of extra layer of stuff to manage. Um, so I was basically running through a mixer, but then if I wanted to record into Pro Tools, I could send channels off uh, and, and do, that, do it from there. But that was stuff that I had to manage. This is much nicer. I'm now running everything direct into Pro Tools. So I can just record stuff straight in. I'm running straight through plugins but I'm getting the same zero latency because of the DSP side. So the way I've got this connected is the kind of analog synths are coming across into Pro Tools through the line analog inputs because they sound amazing. I don't want to lose any quality. And then everything else on here is coming through this ADAT interface. So I've got a 16 channel ADAT converter here, um, which is like a patch panel for my synths. I can just plug stuff in here and it's going to show up on the 16 analog, uh, ADAT inputs on Pro Tools. So here inside Pro Tools, I have built a mixer, which is receiving all of the synths. They're all just coming into audio tracks, which are input monitoring. The other thing you'll notice is there's these green icons. So this is the DSP mode that's running on these channels. I can demonstrate that quickly by switching that in and out. And the easiest way to hear that is using a metronome click. So you often think about latency as being an issue of playing live instruments, guitars, microphones. But obviously if you're sequencing synths using hardware sequences, then timing is really important as well. And although Pro Tools and the devices might be perfectly in sync via MIDI, the audio signal coming back through your system could be delayed going through your audio interface. Um, and so then you have to start messing around with 
offsets and none of that is fun. So this is my click track in Pro Tools. So if I hit play, we'll hear a click coming from Pro Tools. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna synchronize this with Machina so we can hear how in sync they are. I'll run the metronome tap in Machina as well. And I'm synchronizing via Ableton Link here, which is giving me a sync with Machina over Wi-Fi. Um, so let's do that. I'm gonna hit play on Machina and enable the tap. So right now they are running pretty much bang together. But if I switch off DSP mode, so now you're hearing the sync that you get through a, a regular audio interface that's coming through your machine, USB or Thunderbolt. Okay, all right, let's see if we can capture a performance. So I can arm all of my record tracks straight from the desk. I can also arm all of my channels for automation, which is something I've set up so that as I record all the multi-track um, audio from my synths, I can also capture my fader and mute and send adjustments here um, at the same time. So I'm going to start Pro Tools recording. And then because we're on link, we can start whenever we want. I'll just arm a couple of patterns to um, start playing here. So let's go. Okay, so let's look what we've got in Pro Tools then. So there you go, we have about three minutes of uh, capture. We also have all of our volume automation and mute. And that gives me something to start with building my song. So there you go, that is my new and improved uh, electronic music production workflow uh, based around Pro Tools Carbon. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.